his sage words of wisdom <laughs> in our Buongiorno. Uh, in Buongiorno. Our Buongiorno. Buongiorno. I haven't seen the uh, question, so be oh, nice. No, no, because no one thought you prepared for this. It's fine. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Let's do it. But you know, everybody at home, I will tell you the truth. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So no going around, not being politically correct. It's not what I do. I tell you exactly <laughs> what I think. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Good luck, everyone. Let's go to Mary on the line. Hi, Mary. Hi. Hi. Hello, Mary. Hi, Mary. Hello, Mary. So, Mary, you've just started dating an Italian man, is that right? Yeah, I am. Uh, um, OK. And so, well, how could Gino help you? Um, I want to know how I can impress him. How um, you can impress an Italian man? Yes. Oh, well, there are, oh, there are so many things you can do. I mean... Maybe uh, some phrases would be nice. Phrases? Yes. Ah, OK. Yeah, ah, you want to go on the uh, uh, talking. OK. Do you, do you speak any Italian? No. Nothing at all? Nothing at all. OK. No, OK. I think you should uh, 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 give him a phrase that is, uh, is ambiguous. Oh, God. OK? OK. OK. All right? It's ambiguous. So, and see what happens, because then you also find out what kind of Italian man he is. <laughs> Ask him for some pecorino, which is the, uh, the cheese. Yes. yes. Yeah. OK? But do get it wrong by adding an A at the end and see what happens. See, if you say pecorino... No, 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 no. Don't say it, don't say it. We, I'm it. only telling you. I, I, know, I, know, I know, I know, I know. But I think you've told us this before. This is quite yeah. rude, isn't it? No, it's not rude. It's a woof-woof-style position in, in the bedroom, like a, yeah. like a dog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you see then the reaction of the Italian guy, if he's going to go for the cheese or is he going to go for the doggy? So you put an A on the end, right? A at the end, the end of the O. And let's see what the Italians does. Well, if okay. he's a true Italian, <laughs> he's going to go for the dog. Mary, <laughs> Mary <laughs> brace yourself. <laughs> uh, hi, Naomi. Oh, my God. Hello. Hi. Uh, so you want a big sausage. Ah, oh, Yes. Right, explain, because that's, that's my headline. <laughs> No, I know. Well, that's it. I'm, I've, I've been with my partner for about two months, and I like fish, and he likes sausage. <laughs> right. Every time he, if I ask him to bring me sausages, he always gets tiny little chipolatas, and I don't, I don't know what to do with them because if I put them in the sandwich, I've started to deliberately make the slices of my bread larger than the chipolata, and I can't see it. And then if I put it in toad in the hole, you can't see the toad. And I just wanted to know what is the benefits of a chipolata as opposed to a big meaty sausage. You right. want a chipolata for a recipe, is that okay. what you're saying? So I do, I do, but, I do, but, but and, and, you know, like, what, why? I don't want a tiny sausage. No, you want a big sausage. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no with, with, you know, a nice, a nice sausage. Yeah. You want the sausage that you can handle. Yeah, the, you, like a meaty, you know. It, I, I want to know what's in it, obviously. OK. But I don't see the benefit to the a little tiny thing. I quite the... like a chipolata. Do you? But, yeah. But, but, uh, yeah. So it's in blanket. Yeah. Exactly. I think, I mean, it's, I think what, it's, it's what you do with it. It's what you do with the chipolata, it's what you do with the big sausage. I, I'm always going to go for a bigger sausage because you keep the moisture inside the sausage. Uh -huh. Sometimes with the chipolata, they can go too, too dry. So I tend to go to my local Italian deli. Uh, oh, look, some supermarket, they do have those big, fat sausages. Mm. And I think, uh, I think they're much better than the small one. Well, mm -hmm. you've got a sausage recipe coming I've up. I've got a sausage later. coming up, and we use big Italian sausages because they're fantastic. You keep the uh, moisture in there. Usually they come with fennel, yeah. beautiful uh, rosemary in there. I think, I think I mean, Naomi, if you're, if you're not happy with the sausage that you're getting, then go out and get a bigger one. <laughs> do we think? Yeah. You, you buy the sausages. I, I, I think take that control. is the wisest... Yeah, take control of your sausages from now on in your life. Take you control. Know? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Bye, Naomi. Bye. Yes. See you. Well Julia's done. on the line now. Hi, Julia. I can see where this... Uh, Good morning. Is Good go. morning. Good morning. So, listen, you've Good been morning. married since 2006, but you've got a question. That's right. Yes, I have a question. But firstly, happy International Women's Day, Holly. And, and the same um, to you. Fabulous. So, yes, I got married back in 2006 on the island of love in Cyprus. And while we're still very, very happily married, sometimes, Gino, you just need that little bit of extra spice. And I thought, with you being an international love god and also a world-famous <laughs> chef, I just cannot wait to hear your fabulous tips. 
So well, you want a bit of spice, spice in your life, in your marriage, yeah. I guess. Can yeah. you please keep yeah, this slightly? Yeah, just like spice. Just like I think, OK. Tread I, carefully. I, I'm going to tread very carefully here. I think what you should do if you want to put spice in your marriage is to try something that you haven't tried before. So if you want to break down some boundaries within the limit of what you think your husband will be, will accept, OK? Mm. All right. An example, trying to have a threesome. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Uh, Listen, uh, you just get uh, someone else involved and see what's going to happen. So, uh, what your, uh, your thoughts on that? Julia. <laughs> Don't be so ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Julia, in one moment, you've said we something we've all been wanting to say for that. years. No. <laughs> say again. What did you say? I would rather have a kidney out with no anaesthetic than have a threesome. Thank you very much. Right. <laughs> okay. Really? Well, well, this this is something that you want just <laughs> just a moment between you and and him, or with no one else. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ah, if it's only going to have to be the two of you, uh, again, you put some boundaries down. You know, try something that you never tried to do. You know, play. Play because you know you know when 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 you when you've been in a relation for a long time, sometimes it's good to push the boundaries, mm -hmm. I think. And to try something different, try something that you've never done before and see what happens. So listen, sometimes it can be fun, or sometimes it can be a little bit awkward, and then you don't do it anymore. But unless you try, how are you yeah. gonna spice up so the what, situation? What, uh, what, what are you thinking of there? Are you are you accepting any of that? Are you romantic? Are you experimental? Are you prepared to push the boundaries a little bit? I'm romantic. I don't know about experimental. It all depends what's involved. <laughs> I like to know what I'm getting myself in for before, before anything it's happens. It's not so much so spice you're looking think... after, is it? But just a little bit of salt and pepper. <laughs> More romance. That's the one, Philip. Yes, a bit of salt and pepper. <laughs> and, uh, salt. And, uh, Start with a bunch of flowers and dinner. <laughs> and work up from there. <laughs> Yeah, but that, that is, is too... Uh, uh, it becomes boring after mm -hmm. a while. You can't do the same thing all the time. You haven't got a sausage problem like you know, have you? <laughs> Absolutely not, no. We well, don't at, least you're on a good, <laughs> at least you're on a good start there. Quit while you're ahead, in which case. Thank you, Gino. We'll see you later on. Gino is... That's it? Yes, I'm afraid so, because that's all Ofcom will allow. <laughs> <laughs>